Hello. In this episode of Zugu Diaries, we are going to show you how I painted our Citroën Jumpy Van in 3 days for less than 30 euros. The first step of the process was sanding the entire van to remove the rust and prepare the surface to receive the new paint. I started by using a sander and a 220 grit sandpaper and then I sanded all the corners by hand. After removing the license plate and other small parts, I cleaned the entire van with some thinner to remove grease and other dirt. Be aware that when opening a thinner plastic bottle on a hot summer day, it can spill everywhere. That's what happened to me and it wasn't great. Then I protected all the places on the van that I didn't want to paint with mask tape. This is one of the most important steps of the process to get a good result. It was also the step that maybe took me the longest, but it was definitely worth it. Finally, I started to paint, using a greenish-grey acrylic lacquer and a short hair roller. At first, I wasn't too sure about painting a car with a roller, but after watching some YouTube videos, I thought it would be the best option, and the truth is that it gives a super smooth and uniform finish. I started by painting the roof and then all the sides, and I was immediately pleasantly surprised with the result of the first coat. As I had started painting late in the day, I finished it almost at night, and I didn't film the rest. But this was what the van looked like the next morning. That morning, I touched up the places where the roller didn't get with a brush and after the paint had dried, I sanded the entire van again. This time with an even finer sandpaper, so that the second coat would adhere better and to loosen the dust and small insects that had got stuck in the paint. Meanwhile, with a matte black spray paint, I painted some details black. After wiping the dust with a cloth, I applied the second coat all over the van and surprisingly the 75 centiliter scan I had bought was just enough. Then came the best and more satisfying part of this project, which was removing the mask tape. After cleaning any glue remaining and some splashes of paint with thinner, I washed all the glasses and the bumpers.
I had heard that Carnauba wax was also good for hydrating plastics and reviving their color. So since we make our own Carnauba wax mixture, as we showed in another video that I will link here, I decided to experiment with it instead of painting. I really liked the result. It doesn't hide the scratches, but without a doubt, the plastics look much better. Finally, I reinstalled the license plate and glued the logos back into place. And here is the final result. For less than 30 euros, with very little experience in painting and with basic tools, I gave our van a new color, which will also make it last longer, as the rust was already taking over. I probably wouldn't have done this if the van was new, but I think if you have a car or an older van and the paint is getting ugly, it's worth a try. It's not a 100% professional result, but I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Soon we will share the conversion of the interior of the van that we use not only for our work at Zugu Studio, but also for traveling. Hope to see you next time.